Okay, how come she gets to sit? You got me twisted up like a pretzel already. Because you have pants on. Well, so, I'm be happy to take them off if means I can get out of doing this. Well, then I'm out to move. <laughs> Dr. Teresa Larson is here today. We're talking about lower back pain. Uh, wouldn't you say most people experience some kind of back pain throughout their life? Actually, 10% of Americans have low back pain right now. Right now, right as they're now. watching, yeah. Okay, yes. what am I stretching here? So you're stretching your big <laughs> filet mignon of a hip flexor. <laughs> So this filet mignon, if you were to eat somebody, this is what you'd want to eat, That's but don't do that, okay? okay? <laughs> this is actually, this hip flexor attaches to your low back, and when you sit for hours on end, right, we have a sedentary life, right. that hip gets really, really okay, tight. Now I, during the break, I stretched the other side, and it already started to cramp. Is that normal? Um, no, we don't want it to cramp. <laughs> okay. okay. So, so let's, or fall down. And, okay, and stability actually okay. matters, too. Stability? For the, stability. You know, Mental skin, stability or physical stability? Mental stability <laughs> first, okay. uh -huh. and then sitting on one foot Okay, I actually do these at home because oh, do. I, I do have hip flexor problems. Uh, Okay. If, I, if I run or jog or something, uh, that's the first thing that starts to tighten up. And then there's one other I do where I, I put my leg up on the bar in front of me and kind of turn my knee to one side. Here, I can show you on the okay. back. So you tell me Please if this do. is a good or a bad stretch back here. I'll, okay. do, one, I'll do one of these. Ugh. Oh, yeah, it's a little to pigeon stretch. Yeah, like so. So you are stretching your rotators in your hip, which okay. there's like six of them that get real meaty and tight. Um, so this is a great stretch. For those rotators. Okay, but that's so different than the one you just showed us. That is different than okay. the one I just showed and you, of course, but it isn't. Now, if you could help me get my leg down, that'd be great. Let me help you. Okay. And you know what Linda was doing was a little hamstring stretch. You guys yeah, can do this her at for work. I will. So Linda, you really feel that in your hamstrings. I mean, probably not so great in a skirt, but so yes. But we didn't want her to put her leg up on the chair. But at least <laughs> if, you're wearing, if you're wearing a skirt, you can do this quite easily at your desk. But guys, right. like every 30 minutes. You should be doing one of these drills that you just saw: hamstring, hip now, flexor. Doctor, when we do every this though, every, we, we both just right. said we've done hips, we've done a little bit of the legs. We haven't touched our backs. Right. So, but the thing is, the problems in the low back. The low back needs stability. Oftentimes, the hips and the thoracic spine, your rib cage, get really stiff mm -hmm. just from being sedentary. Right. So your low back takes the blunt. Okay. So the point is to stretch your hips, mobilize your hips and your mid back to help your low back. Isn't that true with a whole lot of the body's physiology in, in that things are all connected? Yes. You have a problem in one place, but it didn't start there. Right. Okay. It's usually, so where the pain is, it's called regional interdependency, isn't usually the cause. It's somewhere so else. It's somewhere else. So yeah. shoulder injury, right? It comes from either the neck or maybe the mid back. Um, if you're an Olympic weightlifter, it could come from your ankle. The low back usually, because the people are sedentary, come from the hips and the thoracic spine from being... Well, show Linda another exercise. Yeah, so how else can we uh, do this show where, Linda. where we don't have to end up uh, somewhere, that we can take care of our lower back ourselves? So go ahead and stand up, you guys. The biggest thing that you can do, it's not just stretching, it's how you carry yourself, your posture, right? Mm -hmm. So go ahead and just... How's this? So stick out your butt, <laughs> stick out your butt like this. So this is okay. like sexy pose, not stick so sexy, not sexy for your low back. Yeah, right. you stick out your butt. This is how people walk around, mm -hmm. right? Kind of nice. You want me to walk around like no, this now? I do not. <laughs> now I don't want you to walk around like that because it's, nice it's actually not that sexy, even though. <laughs> well, I didn't you know, think people, so either. <laughs> but then the other thing is, a lot of people kind of stand like this, With their right? Their shoulders slumped. This is also not sexy, right? But if you stand up straight, squeeze your butt. Be proud, loud and proud. Oh, you're not with your hands, you mean clench. No, yeah, you don't okay. have to touch your butt. Okay, good. But you can, but at a different <gasps> Like time. in the military. You know, it's, it's, it's almost butt. as if, you know, the way they stand, so. But you want to relax. Oh, okay. So think about like a, a line, like I'm pretty tall. I'm actually, I think I'm taller than both of you, right? I'm yeah. right at six feet or just okay. a little under now. Definitely I'm shrinking, taller than you know. me. Yeah. yeah, but you think of a plumb line pulling your head towards the sky, okay. elongating you. And squeeze your tush, maybe about 10% max tension. Not exactly, you know, Matt. <laughs> you, I, I, you know what just happened right there? She looked in my eyes and she saw the concentration as I'm thinking 10% squeeze. Yeah. And I was calculating and squeezing. You know, if you were to squeeze 100%, you know what that would be for? Like a big lift or maybe something right. in the bathroom. But now it's, now it's just 10%. 10%, that's uh -huh. it. Okay. And as you can see, when you squeeze your butt, everyone do that right now, your low back kind of becomes more neutral. Yeah. Right. Okay. And that's what you want. And then relax your shoulders. So it's all about that core kind of, isn't it? Too? The core of the core. Now, the other thing is, if you think 
but you got your diaphragm, right? Your rib cage. You don't want to have your chest up. That's not an awesome cue. Mm -hmm. Ladies, also not an awesome cue. Draw those ribs down. So not hunching over, but like those ribs should be flushed with your abs. Okay. Okay? So hey, you're, people do hold tension in a lot of places all over their body, don't they? And that, yes. that really can't be good. No, but the, the thing is you can fix it just by your posture, right? Mm -hmm. Don't sit like this. Don't walk around like this, okay? <laughs> well, why are you looking at me when you say that? <laughs> You're just at eye level. <laughs> okay, good. <laughs> you got off easy on this one. You're always walking around like this. But it like is, this. but the movement piece is the most important. The postures you hold during the day are the most important. Get up and move every 30 minutes. Those hip stretches are excellent but they're not gonna be the complete fix for your low back. I think when people try those hip stretches, they're gonna be shocked at how tight they are through that area. Oh, they had no awareness gosh. whatsoever. Yeah. Yes, and you guys, this isn't just a 30 second one and done. This is a two minute long stretch. Research shows that you need a minute and 30, right? Time doing a stretch to make a change over time. This isn't a quick 15 yeah. seconds, good, I'm, I'm good to go. No, you're not. Where can we get more info? So my website is movement-rx.com. Movement-rx.com. Tons of free videos, you guys, on how to care for your body, right? Fix it before it's broken. Let's, All right. let's do Fix this. Fix it before it's broken. Thank you so much. You're Did welcome. you get a card? Yeah, I will. I will. <laughs> okay. Okay. Oh, my gosh. Good. I have to go practice walking like yes. this now. So don't, <laughs> don't stick out your butt, okay? okay. Don't do this. <laughs> All right. When we come back, 10%. Whole Foods yeah, has got a little recall that you need to know about, especially if you like their... Uh, their blue cheese. Yeah, look at the packaging. Yep.